Hello, friends. I'm Paul from the Khan Academy Kids team. Thank you so much for joining us today on Circle Time. I'm so excited to see you all and connect with you. Like Circle Time at school, Circle Time with Khan Academy Kids is a time for us to connect and read stories and do some activities together. I can't wait to see what we have in store today. Today, I'm here with my friend, Sophie. Say hi, Sophie. Hi, everyone. Hi, Paul. I am so excited about circle time today because today we're heading outdoors for a very buzzy, buzzy kind of book about one of my favorite creatures, bees. I know we have a great book about bumblebees. As I was on my way over here, I passed all the flowers that were blooming and I saw some bees that were buzzing around them and they just seemed so excited for spring. So how about I open up my book and we can start reading. Today's book is called Bumblebees. You can find it just like this in the Khan Academy Kids Library. Let's start reading. What are bumblebees? Bumblebees are big, fuzzy insects with small wings. They buzz as they fly. Bumblebees have large, hairy bodies. They can be black, yellow, and orange. Wow, I don't think I knew that bumblebees were hairy. A bit like a dog or a cat, they have hair. And I guess I just never got up close enough to a bumblebee to see that in real life. But here in this picture, I can see it really clearly. You're right. This up close picture gives us so many details. I wonder what the bee is doing with that flower. Let's keep reading. Hard at work. Bumblebees live in forests and fields. They often nest in grass or the ground. Bumblebees have long tongues. They suck up nectar from flowers. Wow, in this picture, we can see the bumblebee's tongue and how it's using it to suck up something from the flower. Hmm, and that something is called nectar. Yeah, we can see an up-close picture of the nectar in the top right. Let's see if we can figure out what bees do with the nectar. Bumblebees carry pollen from flower to flower. This lets plants make seeds and fruit. Oh, I see. So as the bee is drinking up the nectar from the flower, they're getting covered in pollen from the flower too. Growing up. In spring, the queen bee builds a nest. She lays eggs and gathers food. Wow, the queen bee looks like a very important big bee who lays all the eggs for the bee community. That's great, isn't it? That sounds like a very important job. Worker bees hatch first. Soon they find food for the colony. Workers care for new larvae. Larvae grow in wax cells and become pupae. Pupae become adults. By summer, the nest buzzes with life. Wow, so the larvae were a little bit like lots and lots of eggs. And then those eggs grew up and eventually lots of new bees hatched out into the world. Yeah, it looks like by summertime, the bees are buzzing with life. Wow, that was amazing. I always thought bees were just buzzing around for fun, but it looks like they have a very important job helping plants create new plants. 
And now, why don't we check out our friend Lorraine's garden? Let's take a peek. Lorraine has a rosemary bush in her garden and we have spotted a lot of bees in that rosemary bush. Wow, there were so many bees buzzing around Lorraine's rosemary bush. There were lots of flowers on the bush, so it looked like the bees were going from flower to flower and probably using their long tongues to slurp up nectar. All the while, they're probably moving pollen around too, helping out those plants. Bees are so neat. And today we actually have another special video from our friends at Climate Science that's gonna help us better understand how bees find flowers and tell other bees where to go. Let's watch it together. Hiya kids, are you ready to learn all about bees? Bees are what we call pollinators, and this means that they work together with plants to help them make seeds, which can then grow into brand new plants. Now, bees do all of this by flying around and carrying pollen from flower to flower to flower. If you've ever had a yummy fruit or vegetable, well, that was probably thanks to a bee pollinating them. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bees are pretty special there. However, they do have some other talents, like making sweet honey from the nectar found in flowers. But how do the bees know where to find all of this nectar? Let's watch them for a moment, and let's see what they do. That bee has found a flower patch filled with nectar. However, she can't carry it all on her own. Now, as she makes her way back to the hive, she knows she'll have to tell the other bees where they can find the flower patch. But I'm sure all of you know that bees can't talk and they probably can't write. So what is she going to do? She's going to do a waggle dance. Now she's going to need to come up with two dance moves. One dance move is going to tell the bees which direction to go, either north, east, south, or west. And the second dance move is going to tell them how far away the nectar is. Now, normally, this dance can be a little bit complicated with lots of twists and turns. So today, we're going to be doing our very own unique waggle dance. And now, it's going to be your turn. Why don't you dance along with the bee and help her tell the hive where to find the flowers? The flowers are two miles away to the west. So make sure to move your hips side to side for distance and move your arms like the bee for direction. Hey, I, I, think, I think you're getting it. That's awesome. And look at that, off they go. Thank you so much for helping the bees find their nectar. Until next time, folks. Wow, thanks, climate science. That was amazing. And friends, that's all we have time for today on Circle Time. Thank you so much for joining us for Khan Academy Kids Circle Time. And if you would like to check out more fun activities, including our books and videos, you can head to our Khan Academy Kids app, which is completely free in the App Store. That's all we have time for now. Bye from Sophie, Paul, and all of us here at the Khan Academy Kids team. Bye friends. Bye friends.